How you doing everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mo and um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit of uh, congested. Uh, southern weather sucks. It's hot like one day and then like freezing cold the other so kind of got to me. I'm um, sorry about that if I sound very, very nasally. But anyways, today is going to be a different video than what we normally do. We we're going to talk about how much cost me to buy this truck and how much the phase one build cost me basically answering some of you guys questions uh that ask me how much did it cost and how much does everything cost and uh you'll be surprised but before we get started into saying how much everything costs i want y'all to go down in the comments and give me a wild guess on how much i paid for this truck and how much uh it cost me to get it to where it is right now i'm just kind of curious how far off or how close can you guys get to it before anything we're gonna we're gonna start from maintenance and then go to mods the maintenance is a very is a very very long list but to give you a background on the truck it is a one owner truck so i'm the second owner when i bought it the truck was bought at that same dealership and all maintenance were done at that same dealership so i mean they, it's a very well taken care of truck i uh didn't even go look at it or test drive or anything i just saw it and then did a ppi on it once the ppi came out clean there's some things that were wrong with it but that's part of the maintenance thing so i just paid the money and i went ahead and got it shipped from missouri to uh mississippi um for you guys that was wondering i do live in huntsville but i am from mississippi so let's get started with the maintenance i'm gonna round the number to the nearest dollar uh just to make it easy especially me calculating everything and all that stuff but yeah let's get started the maintenance list is a pretty long list all right so for the maintenance now i bought everything almost everything and i just took it to a shop that i really trusted uh back in mississippi and he did everything so there is a labor cost for all this i didn't the stuff myself i did pay somebody just so i can get it over with even though the truck was very well maintained by the time i got it all the intervals for the maintenance were up so i drove it as it is until i was able to collect everything for the maintenance and then just sent it to the shop and they did everything i think they gave me a fair price on labor let's start with what we bought and i'll put the pricing next to them and then we'll add it up as we go all right so first thing is i bought eight spark plugs uh those were about 110 those were the denso radiums they're what they use from oem and then a valve cover gasket that was about 100 bucks and the lower ball joints both lower ball joints were about 293 for those steering rack bushings and sway bar bushings those were about 47 dollars and then time about kit uh now this is the asin uh everything here is genuine toyota so uh it cost me 175 for that and then we also got the crankshaft seal that one is gonna be 13 dollars uh the drive belt pulley uh, I replaced that one too. That one was 65 bucks. The cam seals, if you have the 05 or 07, the cam seals are a little bit harder to change. I don't know uh, what they said, but he said basically once he's in there, it uh, should be easy. But yeah, if you're gonna do those, uh, you need to buy those cam seals for the 05 07s because I think we've got the VVTIs. Uh, but yeah, those were 19 bucks. Thermostat gasket, that was about 13 bucks. V-belt tensioner, tensioner uh, assembly that one is 76 bucks the uh fan pulley bracket that one was 113 the belt i got a continental it was 26 bucks that's the uh drive belt and then we got differential oil that's for the differential front and rear and also the transfer case and that one was about 150 bucks uh, i think that's the only thing that i've actually done myself yeah i changed those just because i could reach them easily so that's the only thing that i've done and then we got the trans brake and power steering flush we did all those uh, because they were done before on the main records so we decided let's keep on doing them keep the uh truck anyways the tires were pretty bad they lasted me several months and then i had to buy brand new tires i went with the falcon atw3s and they were a thousand bucks for those they're a little bit taller than the stock height the labor was two thousand dollars and i feel like that was a fair price um and he did it pretty quickly also he, he adjusted some stuff here and there uh, i asked for him so i don't think it's too bad uh some people might be higher uh some people might be lower but uh let me know if you've ever paid for this 
this kind of service or all this service tell me how much it costs you to do it as far as labor so total just for maintenance is four thousand two hundred and four dollars that is insane um so i mean think about it purchase price and then you know just maintenance on a, on a you know on a truck that is been one well, well maintained so that tells you that even if you buy a well maintained truck or any vehicle uh you and the maintenance intervals come up you're still gonna have to do all this maintenance and yeah it, it hurt but you know i was i was prepared for it you know it's not my first sequoia uh so i knew what i was going into when i bought it anyway so let's move to the modifications all right guys so let's move on to the modification once i got done with all the maintenance stuff i felt comfortable spending the money on the modifications that uh, i want to do but main thing was my priority was to do all the maintenance first before i put anything onto this truck it is my daily so i had to make sure it was uh road weather 100 before i could do anything anyways so let's get into it so we're gonna start uh from the outside we're not gonna follow the uh video chronologically we're just gonna go from outside and then inside and then uh we'll give you all the total anyway so from the outside of course headlight housing those were about 150 for the clear he headlight housings and then also the headlights they are the led bulbs for the headlights they are 200 bucks now i did buy the gtr lighting and then of course i got uh sent the auxero so if you are looking for a cheaper alternative that is really good with par with those uh, GTR lighting uh, Axiro sells some amazing plug-and-play headlights so if I knew about that before I bought the GTR lighting up I would want the Axiro they're a little bit cheaper like probably 70 bucks I'll have a link for those uh, if you want to get those and then yeah uh, so headlights 200 and then we're gonna move to the fog lights. They are 20 bucks I bought cheaper ones because I could not find GTR lighting ones that were yellow So I went with just uh, cheap Amazon ones also tinted the fog light housing to yellow which is also 13 bucks so you know i wanted that to be bright yellow so the led headlights won't drown out the uh yellow fogs anyway so I call them the dimples they're like the daytime run lights uh, on the 05s and 07s i got those in yellow just like the headlight i mean just like the fog lights uh, and those uh, 11 bucks from amazon uh now the turn signals for the front they are switchback so they weren't cheap and you had to buy four of those those were 70 bucks just for turn signals so the turn signals for the front they were 70 bucks uh four of them they're switchbacks i am absolutely in love with those uh it just cleans up the front and it's only amber when i basically put on my turn signals or my flashers uh it keeps the front very uniform if you don't know me yet or you don't know me already i am very ocd i like everything matching everything symmetrical so uh yeah we got those turn signals and then of course the uh flasher relay we had to have those on toyotas you can buy a fl flasher relay put it instead of the uh, factory one and then you could run leds with that hyper flash and those were ten dollars all right and then we got the dish light brackets it's just a small piece of metal i didn't want to pay the ragu fabrication ones they were 80 although i do like high quality but then at the end of the day i just thought you know so small piece of metal i don't need to spend that much they were 20 bucks um and they work absolutely uh perfect all right so the dish lights uh the dish lights i did go and get uh high quality stuff i went and got the baja designs and i think that's the only brand i'll use as far as lighting on this truck in general baja designs i don't think there's any other company can come close to buy designs as far as the way you service them the light output and just the quality in general and if you don't know me already uh, i do like to spend my money on um you know high quality parts i'd rather buy something that is high quality that's more expensive uh one time and then not be able to replace it or have it look ugly down the line when it gets you know uh, water damaged or it hazes or turns yellow so that's 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 just me uh i like to spend money on quality parts all right let's move on to uh some of the miscellaneous stuff actually miscellaneous added up to around 37 dollars just here and there little stuff for the truck and we got the uh, uh skid plate uh, the beauty skid plate that was uh from toyota and it was 150 of course we got the tent and the decals and those were about 160 all done let's move on to the rain guards on the outside and 
those are about 100 bucks from WeatherTech. Uh, I got the in channel ones and absolutely love them. The switch panel for all the light, that one is 150. It's under the hood and also in the cabin. So the license plate lights, uh, I went with the Sylvania's uh, LED just because I felt those were high quality I didn't want to be buy any cheap bulbs uh, especially for the rear I need them to be bright and then uh, just work and for me I thought the Sylvania's were very very high quality and uh, they're made for road use so I just wanted to get those license plate is gonna be 20 bucks the turn signals for the rear are 25 the brakes for the rears are 25 reverse is 25 and then the small tire lights were about 20 so that brings us total of for modification just to the outside that is a thousand four hundred and fifty six dollars so that's insane because i haven't done anything expensive yet on it uh, but that just shows you how building anything can be very very costly so let's move to the inside so we can get the whole total um the inside i've done the armrests i got uh armrests from junk card they're about 10 bucks and then of course i got those armrest covers i don't like them i have them on you know just makes it a little bit cleaner they don't fit 100 and those were 25 bucks and we also did the radio head unit uh apple carplay and android and with the wiring and everything that was about 400 dollars. so that one's well worth it now the uh insane amount that i spent on this for the interior is the hydro dip interior between me going up to Nashville dropping some stuff off and bringing some stuff and buying extra interior pieces from junkyard all that cost me 600 bucks and I did it in forced carbon and I think it turned out amazing I'm absolutely in love with it I don't regret doing it even though it's expensive I like to spend the money where of his quality but it's, it is sometimes it hits me like I spent $600 on you know just basically painting plastic but it's well worth it now for all the interior lights i bought the cheaper ones you know you buy them in packs so it wasn't really uh too expensive because i have a lot left over so if it goes out i don't have to buy anymore and those uh for all the interior lights everything in the interior changed to led it cost me 82 dollars um now the last thing we did on the interior is the speaker fix and that one was 29 bucks and i'm glad that i did that which you know some people rather replace the speaker but i just say why not if it's just a quick 30 dollar foam that you need to replace and takes two three hours out of your day to do it um it's not really hard uh i don't like i've never done anything like that before and my speakers sound amazing and you know just factory so i don't have to spend any more money on that uh speakers are done and i, I like the jbl system uh so that was the last thing uh for the interior and the total on that one is a thousand a hundred and forty six which uh it's pretty crazy now two items are about a thousand themselves it's just because the radio and the hydro dip that was expensive but yeah uh so total for uh maintenance and modifications for the truck um i am at six thousand eight hundred and six dollars it, it, it's a lot of money Especially now, what I'm about to tell you on how much I paid for this truck. All the big stuff that is I'm gonna be putting on this truck uh, is gonna it's not gonna make any sense. But I try not to really look at how much I spent on stuff like this, just because it drives me crazy. And uh, when I spend money on my cars and build them, I try not to look at it. I have everything you know uh, categorized on a book and how much it costs, but I don't try to add them up. And look at them just because the fact that i'm like oh shit you know i, I really outspent you know what the truck's worth or whatever but uh i just love modifying same thing with the 240 um and the 240 is gonna go under the knife soon yeah uh so six thousand eight hundred and six dollars plus the uh nine thousand uh that i paid for this truck so the grand total is fifteen thousand eight hundred and six dollars all right guys so this was the uh total kind of insane i would like to see uh how close you guys got to uh the actual uh number of how much my uh sequoia build costs so far on the phase one now phase two is gonna have a lot more stuff uh put on it so yeah you guys uh stay tuned and i'll have a lot more videos coming up uh this next year if you like this video guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll have uh more videos coming out for y'all see y'all next video Perfect.